Karen Cook from Functional Homes, and I just want to introduce you to the bath lift. What I like about bath lifts is it gives you access to the bathtub without putting in a big fat walk-in tub, as well as we've had issues with walk-in tubs in the past that we've installed where the doors leak or if something little goes wrong, for instance, the shower head comes apart at the spigot underneath, it takes a lot of time, which turns into money, to pull the whole tub out, take it apart just to do a simple fix. So this is a really easy, low-cost way to be able to access your bathtub. This is an Aquatech bath lift. There are a few different sorts of bath lifts on the market. The, this one is nice. It's got the, um, the strap for somebody who has difficulty can maintaining postural control. The flaps go back. You gotta pull them up and then they push back. There's a little thing, there's a little catch on them. So if you want to adjust them, pull them up and then push them back to whichever angle you'd like. Now the nice thing about these bath lifts is they've got flaps that go over the top. So it makes it easy to transfer into. This, most bath lifts really work best with standard size tubs, but you can use them with larger tubs. You just need to make sure that the rise is high enough. This is a standard tub. It's about 15 inches inside from the bottom of the tub to the top. This is a, a Aquatech um, bath lift. The Aquatech bath, li bath lift goes up to 17 inches. Um, there are some on the markets that do go to 18 inches. The Columbia bath lift, which I really like as well, goes to 16 inches. If you have somebody who would like who you would like to use this with, when you bring them in, you've got the flaps, they can sit on the flaps, transfer in like this, and then bring their feet in. There's two different types of lifts. There's the kind, there are two different kinds of backs, I should say, for lifts. There, there's the kind that maintains this back angle, and then there's the kind that has, is a reclining bath lift. This one's reclining back, bath lift, so it reclines about 20 degrees. Um, the bath lift, now one of the negative parts of this bath lift, bath lift though, where people really, I find, don't like it, is um, it's kind of heavy. It's 26 pounds, and so if you've got more than one person using this, the bathtub, and not everybody uses the bath lift, it's a bit of a hassle to be able to take it in and out every time. I've had people who really have been unhappy because it's heavy, they don't want to take it in and out, and, to some people, and so that's one big negative I've heard with this. Um, but, and then sometimes people like to position themselves differently than what this will allow it to position you. With a reclining bath lift like this one, the seat reclines, it doesn't stay up unless you keep it out of the water a little bit. This goes down to about two inches above the tub surface. And then the other issue I have with this bath lift is it takes one minute and three seconds to fully go to the top of it, um, to the top, and one minute and three seconds to go all the way to the bottom of the tub. So that's a long time. One thing I like about the Columbia better is the Columbia takes 42 seconds. Uh, my friend Zeb and I, we've been timing these to see which one's the fastest. Columbia definitely wins with 42 seconds. This one is a slow second place with one minute and three seconds. So this bath lift, as with most of the bath lifts, is completely rechargeable. And it's nice because if you want to recharge it, you just flip this forward. And there's a, and you take this apart. This pulls right off, and you plug that part in. So that way you don't have to take the whole bath lift in and out in order to charge it. The nice thing about this too is it folds up. So if you want to take it out, it just comes apart just like this, and it makes that 26 pounds a lot easier to move. To put these back seats back together, it's really quite simple. There's notches on the back, and you just line them up in the grooves.
Now, these were designed, these bath lifts were designed for a standard size tub. They do have suction cups on the bottom of them so that they don't move, but they still do move sometimes to some degree. This is a circular tub or non-standard tub. I don't always recommend these for these sorts of tubs. One, this is in the way if you're trying to transfer and you don't have very good balance. But also, it can, it can be a little tilty. So it's one thing you have to be careful of. It does maintain its balance quite well, but not as So these are really good for standard size tubs. Again, if it's a deep tub, uh, deeper than 17 inches for this, for this aqua tech, then it's really important that you uh, make sure whoever's doing the transferring isn't a total assist transfer. They're going to have to have a little bit of transfer skills to maintain their balance. This is a little iffy because it's not the standard aqua sh oval shaped tub. You know, you always got to worry about somebody falling off the side. But if someone's got good balance, then, you know, it's not a bad lift for the tub. Be careful, though, in every instance. And consult an occupational therapist. They're the ones who um, are trained to work in this field with these sort of, this sort of equipment. So if you have any questions, please me an email, and I'd love to hear from you.